What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today we have a collection video for you guys. We have the cart all stocked up. I'll show you guys in a minute, but we're going to go head out and service all my machines and see how much we can pull in today. We do have a little bit of a drive because we did move a little further away. Uh, so it's about a two hour drive to get to the first stop and then all of them are pretty close to that. Uh, so hopefully we get a good haul this time around. Got my wife coming with me, so uh, definitely nice to have a little bit of company on the road. And real quick, before we head out, make sure you guys hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, let's go ahead and head out and collect that coin. Here we go, guys. We got the cart all stocked up. We got our one little container of Chewy Spree, peanut m and Skittles. M&M's, got Reese's and Mike and Ike's over here. We've got all the toys in those boxes back there. We got the gumballs. Uh, I think I have like a box or two of the premium gumballs in there as well, just in case I need them for any of my spots. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, head out. All right, guys, we just pulled up at the first stop of the day. This is going to be the pizza spot that normally does pretty well. It's my second best location overall. Hopefully, it's a good month. Unfortunately, it's a pretty nasty weather out, but uh, let's go ahead and head inside and see what we pull. Here we go. Inside of the first location for the day, go ahead and unlock it and go ahead and pull off the globe and go ahead and pull off the next part to see how much we made and very very nice this location never disappoints always very good anyway go ahead and put this machine back together go ahead and put that first piece down put the globe back on and then we go ahead and fill it up with the gumballs there we go, make sure it is nice and full because this location does usually make a good chunk of money, so definitely wanna make sure it's nice and filled up. There we go, got that all filled up, good to go. And time to see how much this location made for the day. Go ahead and bust out this coin scale. This coin scale is absolutely amazing. Yes, it was a bit pricey, but it has saved me so much time than counting from hand. Go ahead and turn it on and get ready to dump in all of these quarters. There we go, and there it is. There we go, not too shabby, 100 bucks before commission. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and head over to the trampoline park, that is our best location. So we're gonna head over there, hopefully it does as good as it always does, uh, but let's go ahead and find out. Here we are inside of the trampoline park, the also great location that it is. Go ahead and unlock this machine. Go ahead, take out the canisters, and yes, that coin bank is feeling very heavy. Always nice to feel the heavy coin bank when you pull that out because you just know it's going to be a good chunk of money in it. Let's go ahead and get this four-way machine all filled up with all the different candies. Uh, one of them I did end up having to leave empty because they asked me to. It was spilling all over the floor. You can see it, uh, the M&Ms there. And go ahead and pull out the next machine and wow, just wow. This, this machine has been absolutely amazing. Always tons of money in this one. Uh, believe it or not, that this single head gumball machine is the best performing piece of equipment I have in this entire piece. And I have two of the Venn Design four-way machines. I have the rack and this gumball machine. And the gumball machine just somehow seems to always do the best. I believe it was almost $200 in that one machine alone. I believe it was like $175, give or take. Anyway, go ahead and put that machine back together. Fill it up with plenty of gumballs, making sure that uh, next time there will be plenty of gumballs to sell so that there is just as many quarters in there for me at the end of the month as there usually is. There we go. Now on to the vending rack. Uh, this is one of the premium gumballs. Usually it sells a little better than that, but I mean, look at that. It's still pretty, pretty good. You cannot complain uh, with a collection looking like that. 
go ahead and scoop these all into the bag here so that we can count it up at the end or should I say have my coin scale counted up at the end for us as you can see that is actually my wife's hand helping me uh, scrape it up she does come with me on the routes and helps me out quite a bit it is very very helpful having her come along it makes things a lot easier for me to record as well as service everything it saves a ton of time here we are to the bouncy balls and surprisingly this did a little bit better than it normally does the bouncy balls typically don't do too too great uh, but they usually do at least decent they seem like they did a little better than they normally do this time around so definitely happy with that considering how low the product cost is for bouncy balls they're not quite as cheap as gumballs but they are pretty close go ahead and put this machine back together or well, i guess i should say this head of the machine <laughs> and uh go ahead and get ready to fill it up with the bouncy balls here making sure there is plenty of products for people to purchase uh, if they are so willing as they always seem to be at this location got that all filled up go ahead and lock that compartment back up and on to the next slot and this slot I actually switched out last time around I used to have the rings in here this time I have the sticky hands seems like they're moving pretty well and uh, yes indeed they are moving way better than the rings were so very happy with that definitely made the smart decision to switch over to the sticky hands um, definitely selling a lot more of those than I did of the previous product, which were the rings, and very, very good. Go ahead and scrape the last few bits of quarters out of there, and then go ahead and put that machine back together. There we go, one piece and two piece. Always a little hard to find the hole on that one sometimes. Um, there we go, and go ahead and top it off with the rest of the rings, or sorry, not the rings, but the sticky hands. Um, maybe I should have moved them to 50 cents. I don't know. Let me know in the comment sections if I should move the sticky hands one inch to 50 cents or not. Here we go. Lock that back up, and on to the two-inch toy capsules on the top. Uh, first, we're going to do the yo-yo balls and see how they did. Usually, they do pretty well. Uh, I saw those at $0.75 cents here, um, and they only cost about $0.15 cents a piece to purchase, uh, and I do give them a commission overall, so definitely a decent, decent collection, and yes, just look at all those quarters. Very, very nice. Anyway, go ahead and put that one back together, and uh, I am so surprised that the galaxy goo were sold out but first let's fill up these yo-yo balls get them all topped off make sure they're good to go lock that back up and on to the sold out galaxy goo that i recently put in this location now they are selling for 50 cents and they are completely sold out which i honestly did not expect go ahead and pull it apart because I am actually going to be changing out the coin mechanism to 75 cents in just a few seconds here but pull out all those quarters and just wow so so nice go ahead and switch out the coin mechanisms moving it up to 75 cents it is very reasonable to sell those at 75 cents especially seeing how well the uh, yo-yo balls sell at that price anyway all right, go ahead and put this machine back together and switch over that sign so that everyone knows it is 75 cents, not 50 cents, and stick that on there. Go ahead and test it out. Make sure the new coin mech works okay, and indeed it does. Very nice. Go ahead and fill it up all the way to the top because these galaxy goo two inch toy capsules just sold so so well definitely going to keep this product at this location if it continues to sell as well as it does uh, like i said it is just fantastic to see that they sold out this time around and hopefully they sell it again at 75 cents 
Anyway, go ahead and lock this up, and then after that, we are just about ready to count up the total for this location altogether. Here we go. Let's break out that coin scale yet again to see how much this location made overall. I know it's a good one. It always is, but uh, let's find out our exact numbers here. Go ahead and pull it out, turn it on, and got to go ahead and pull out the coin banks for the two Venn Design four-way machines. Go ahead and unlock the first one. There we go. Got that bad boy unlocked. And then go ahead and pour that into this thing. There we go. 70 bucks on the first one. Now the second four-way machine is going to bring up our total to 168 dollars there we go almost a hundred bucks in that coin bank here we go this one here is from the vending rack go ahead and get ready to dump that all in there we were at 168 dollars 168 dollars and 75 cents go ahead and pour that out and that brings us to $367. Very, very nice. And this is from the Gumball Machine. And bringing us to $541.50. Now, keep in mind, that is before commission, but very nice. There we go. And not bad. Uh, that one had $49 in it. I only got uh, two more stops for today. Uh, this next one, I have to change out some of the coin mechanisms. Uh, I was trying to sell the toys for a dollar, but uh, they're not selling at that price, so I'm going to bump them down to 75 cents and see how it goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over to that next spot and see how it did. Alrighty, just got out of the last location for the day. Uh, I was going to go to one more today, but I decided not to. It uh, uh, really just kind of depended on time. It wasn't one that really needed to go uh, be serviced, but I figured I would if I had the extra time, which unfortunately I don't, but that's okay. Uh, this location ended up having $122, and then I do give them a commission. I'm to head back and uh, see what the grand total for the day was. Went ahead and totaled everything up for you guys. Uh, and today we ended up pulling out $676.25. Now we actually only went to one, two, three, and four locations. So I did go to my best two locations. I do that every single month. Uh, and then most of my other locations are on two to three month cycles. Uh, overall pretty good considering how few locations I went to this time around if you guys like this video please make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm I really do appreciate it subscribe if you have not already and leave some comments down below uh, telling me what your best vending machine locations are anyway guys I will catch you all in the next one